Hey there everyone, today we are going to finish off the Tricky rating, and we're starting today with I Have a Cunning Plan, which is a great reference to Blackadder. I love it, but you have to save 100% of the lemmings here, which means you can't use these blockers down here, so you have to find a different way to keep them from getting shredded up. And what we're going to do is we are going to just... Ah, see, I already screwed up, because you cannot have any lemmings walk back into the shredder. But this is kind of what you have to do here. Watch carefully. Okay, let's see if I can do this with a little bit more class. What you have to do is build a bridge that's so thick that the Wimmings cannot walk back through it. So what I'm going to do... I think I have probably managed it. No! One still got through! How did that happen? Bah! Okay, we're going to do this slightly differently now. You only get two bashers, so you only have a small window of opportunity to make it through the wall. I don't think that's going to do it, but uh, let's try bashing through the wall anyway. Well, it might work. No, he still got through! There's one guy getting through every time! That so sucks! Fourth time's the charm, maybe? Let's go again, and let's try it from the top. Okay, one guy got by, and he is going to bash. The others should not be able to get through this little bridge here. One is turning around. He made it through. All right, there you go. You got this giant, thick diagonal line here. And that's just what you have to do. That's how you save them all. I don't know why all this is down here. Maybe to help you feel safe. Maybe to help you think you can recoup your losses in case of emergency. Well, you can't. You got to get it right or go home. Alright, this may be one of those levels where we want to pause and contemplate our strategy. That's a pretty good release rate, but I'm going to up it just a little. Alright. He's gonna block, and he's gonna block. And now we are going to go ahead and uh, have him dig. This is a pretty simple level. You just gotta think about what you're doing. I may have wanted to let two guys go here, actually. This may not have been the smartest thing in the world to do here. But I'm going to go ahead and start mining at this point, and he's also going to become a climber. Okay, he's not going to splatter, is he? Oh yeah, he splattered. Alright, well, back to the drawing board then. Alright, this time we're going to let two guys through, and we're going to keep the release rate generally the same. All right, and now, oh, wow, holy crap. Almost lost a guy there. He needs to block so that these guys can be free to go on and do their things, their respective things, those things they do. Okay, now, which one is going to make it through first? This is kind of a mystery. Let's go ahead and let's have him start mining. This guy is going to get through first, then, it looks like. Although, he needs to bash through. Whoa, 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 I'm about to lose my guy here. So, I got two guys generally working at once here. And this guy is going to be the first one. He needs to go ahead and be the climber. He's not going to splatter, is he? God, I hope not. Okay, good. Well, these guys are both going to climb now, then. And so, these guys have a way to the exit that's safe and not splattery because you have no floaters. That's the big thing about this level that you need to watch out for, basically. And we're going to have to come back and have a guy bash through here, so uh, that's going to be nice and lovely as well. So one of these guys up here can do it, I'm sure. Let's see then. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No, you know what? It's going to have to be this guy who does it. These, the other guys are just going to have to go onward to safety, I suppose. So now let's have him bash through the giant wall here. And that's going to take a bit of time, so we'll be right back. Alright, he is just about finished, so now we're going to make him a blocker right down here. And we're going to let the other guys go by bombing. And now we have just a little bit of time. Oh god, I hope they can make it up there. I had better uh, stand by real quick and see if they can make it. This is a harder level than it looks like. 
There are lots of ways to screw up here. I think they have enough ground to get up there. Although I uh, could be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. So we need to use a builder to get up there. So we're going to waste one of our uh, five builders. You don't get a whole lot of builders in this level, unfortunately. Oh my god! I wasted another one of my builders because he stomped on the grass, girl! Okay, much better. And now we only have three builders, but we should be able to make it up to the exit anyway. <laughs> now you see that the game is starting to get a little bit frustrating, as you can see. And these guys got left behind, so it would be best to make Walker number one right here do our building. The rest of the guys can turn around and make another round trip. This guy's in the back here. He's going to be the straggler, but he's going to be the one who saves the day for us. So now, go on, little women. Do your stuff. Up. Oh, I almost screwed that up again. Oh, my lord. I would have just blown a gasket probably if that had happened. But now, let's get him up to the exit. Let's make sure he actually makes it up there. He should make it up there just Fine. I said he should make it up there just fine. Okay, yeah, thank God. That's more than enough room. So there we go. Not a disaster this time. Um, yay? Boy, I'm counting that one as a loss anyway. That was just, that was just terrible. Good God. Let's bomb these guys and let's get the hell out of here. Why not? So the title of this level is Lost Something, and if you look around, you will find that that something that's lost refers to the exit. The exit is nowhere to be found. Where is it, you ask? Well, we're about to find out. We're going to set up a blocker right here, and he's going to be our only living who dies. We need to bash through this, and the exit is located within this giant dirt quad right here. So what we have to do is we got to build up to it. And then we got to bash and dig and basically just kind of look for it. We have plenty of digging implements. It should not be difficult to find this exit hidden in this giant piece of dirt. Let's go ahead and build up to the left. All right, it looks like we have suitable bridge built for digging. So now let's bash through here. And once you see the torches, if you're about at this level, you should be able to see the torches that mark the exit. So when you get to about the middle, Go ahead and dig down and it should register. There we go, it's doing just fine. So let's raise up that release rate and get everyone on out of here. We have 80 lemmings in this level, right? And we can go ahead and uh, bomb this blocker as well. Since they're not turning around, nobody's gonna die or anything. You can save a lot of lemmings in this level. I think you have to save, I didn't pay attention to the title card at the beginning, 90% or something like that. We might as well just go on and save all the rest. This is a simple level with a simple solution. And we should be able to get out of here with minimum casualties. But there's your exit right there. I guess kind of hard to find if you've never played the game before. There's a lot of guesswork involved. But for me, I'm right on it. So you see all these shredders everywhere throughout this level. You probably saw them when you opened up the level and looked at the map. The object is obviously to find a route where you can get through them without all your lemmings dying. I think you can only kill basically one lemming here. But uh, if I have my way, you'll be able to kill zero. So we're gonna bash through here, and then we're gonna do another round of bashing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make that blocker at the bottom here. Just so nothing bad happens. I think he's the only lemming you can kill. There we go. And now we're gonna pause and make our way over. There we go, we're completely safe now. We can bash to our heart's content Lemmings can turn around and everything will be okay, just hunky-dory. Alright, he's bashing through just fine, and now we are going to get a digger in on this. We're going to kind of dig, I'm going to dig about right here, and then I am going to mine because I think I'm about to go through this little segment right here, and then I'm going to dig again. And then I'm going to mine again so that nobody goes for splat. Excellent. We have a perfect path forged to the exit now. You only get 10 of everything, so uh, 
you have to be kind of careful, but then again, not really, because this is actually a pretty simple stage. If you just think about what you're doing, and thank God they can't walk over the little humps in the uh, quote-unquote rainbows, because uh, that would just be terrible. Okay, bash through. Have him bash, because we've got the time and the wherewithal, and we don't want anybody turning around. Is everybody good to go? It looks like everybody's turned around, so we can bomb our guy and get him safely to, uh, well, he's gonna die, but everybody else can get safely to the, uh, to the exit. This looks like fiber insulation to me. I always imagined when I was a kid that if you touched this little part right here, you would get itchy because that looked like the kind of, like, pink puffy stuff in the attic. It looks like cotton candy! I want to eat it! No, Jesse, don't touch that! You'll get itchy! A little bit of a flashback there. Let's just go ahead and watch everybody follow the exit. I think you have to save 98% here. So we need to go ahead and see every last one of these guys in the exit. But yeah, that's that that level actually lives up to the tricky name. It's not it's not just easy. It's not just a, a like an easy freebie or anything. You have to kind of think about what you're doing, but in the end it's not really that difficult. So hooray for us. And now we come to the final level in Tricky, and our final level for today. This is just like 14 fun, except now you don't get bashers. So what we're going to do, everybody else can be raised up to 99 now. In fact, we need to go ahead and we just need to mine through this first column here, just to save some time. But we can raise our release rate to 99 without any, any problems. Oh my god, I almost forgot about making him a floater. Oh dear god. Let's just go ahead and make them all athletes then. So he needs to become a climber. He's going to go on ahead to the exit. Since we don't have any bashers, this is going to be a little bit difficult. But there is a pretty easy way to figure this out. If you just start mining from the middle, you'll see what happens. I'm not going to get ahead of myself or anything. But I am going to have this guy mine through this ledge again. He's going to go through this one now. This guy is going to walk and he's going to make his way to the exit. And this level is kind of tough because you only have four minutes. So you really have to micromanage here. This is another level that really lives up to the tricky name. So now he's going to go through here and he's going to go up and over. And when he gets to the exit, he's going to, uh, he's going to become a blocker. He's coming through here. All right. F6 to block. Have that out and ready. Now you'll see how this level starts to come together. It's actually very clever and well done, I think. So he's floating down, and here comes our other women. He's going to go ahead and he's going to mine through the ledge. Alright, he's blocking right there. And now he's going to mine through, and when he gets through, he's going to hit the blocker, turn around, and now we're going to have him start mining through the horizontal pillar. We're going to start from the exact middle. That's an easy thing to remember right there. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a safe spot, kind of a good guessing point as well, and it is kind of satisfactory to see that you can uh, get through it and uh, see that you can start from there as kind of an educated guess, and yet also make it out safely. So now we're going to start digging from here, and you see that by digging straight in the middle, we have made a perfect little hole there. That is a perfect step right there. Now he is going to climb up this wall, and he's going to do the same thing again. You see time is running out. Things are starting to get a little bit... You're starting to get a little antsy. I know, I know I am. And now we're going to start from here now. We may actually have to recover from this one, but we'll see when we get to the bottom. Okay, they're heading up. We made it safely. I don't think the miner is going to keep going. He is going to keep climbing, but... We can turn him around really quickly by having him build, and that's going to save a lot of time because they need to get to the exit. I accidentally pushed the pause button for some reason. I got way too excited. But we need to uh, we need to uh, bomb the blocker here, and now we we need to get these guys to the exit. Here comes the athlete straggling behind. I think we're going to make it. We really cut it close to the wire. This is the first level that. Um, that has you really focus on the timer. Until now, you've had a lot of time to beat levels, and you don't really have that luxury here. You have to get cracking on a solution, and you need to carry it out, get it done, and I am confident we are going to win, so I'm going to sign off, and we'll start tomorrow on Tap.